In this video I'm going to explain how to undertake over the air updating of an ESP8266. Those are the stages you need to follow. It's actually quite simple to set the systems up to support over the air updating. Um, this is straight out of the community's instruction on how to do this but I'm going to go through it in uh, some more detail for you. On the left hand, I'll start with some basic principles. On the left hand side I'm depicting a blank ESP8266 and ordinarily through a COM port, serial COM port, we upload a sketch, for example there, a blink sketch, and that consumes, uses up the ESP8266 memory. But for over the air updating we need to install what's called an OTA bootloader, over the air bootloader so that the device can continually poll the network looking for requests to do to undertake an over-the-air update and we load that into the device using the serial port in the standard way we have to reconfigure the ID the Arduino IDE um, with Python and we after uploading the OTA bootloader the ESP8266 just needs a simple reset so press the reset button and let it restart so that bootloader can become fully operational that's a very important step to go through so restarting the IDE gives you access to the new what's called network programming port and it also and restarting the ESP enables that bootloader to operate correctly Once the bootloader has been loaded, your sketches, any sketch, doesn't matter which one, needs to be supplemented with or adjusted for OTA support. And that's three lines of code. It's one library, one start routine, and then in the main loop, a uh, checking for OTA updates. And in my examples in the links below, you can see uh, how that's done. Uh, it's very straightforward. Once the OTA support is enabled in the IDE you can select a network port. Mine comes up as 192.168.0.124 and uh, when you've loaded your sketch there's a layering of the um, program memory with the um, with with what we've been going through so that's the OTA bootloader to begin with some OTA support in the sketch and then it's the sketch itself once this process is complete you can then upload any sketch you like providing it's had the OTA support added to it if you don't do that you'll overwrite the OTA bootloader and it will no longer support over the air updating and you have to reload the OTA bootloader and uh, start again basically but that's not too much of an overhead so adding in the OTA support to the sketch prevents the OTA bootloader from being overridden um, I put some questions and answers here typical problems you might encounter um, they're actually based on my experience of getting it up and running um, and to get to this much more simplified method of, um, of programming over the air. You know, if it stops working just reload the, uh, the OTA bootloader. Um, you will be asked for passwords etc. Just remember the passwords you've used. Only, you only ask once actually so it's worth remembering that. So following the community's instructions on over the air updating the first thing we need to do is go down here and download Python which is supplements the IDE which I'll select 2.7.13 it's the only version that's supported and we'll run that one go through the security scan then follow the defaults for installation directory 
and in this very important stage now to add the python.exe to the PC's path so it can find the execu executable image. Let the installation process complete. Finish. Load up the sketch back to that. So load up the basic OTA sketch. You will have to update the SSID and password so that the OTA bootloader can connect to your network. There are some options you can change such as the port number, the um, the name of the uh, connection and the password. I recommend you change that password. And I use ESP8266 in this video's example. Upload it. So we're uploading using the serial port. Just highlight the password line there. Wait for it to upload. That's very important at this stage you reset the ESP8266. Now I'll load up a, I'll just check that the ESP network port is visible and it is. I load up a, another, again I've provided this example sketch and you can see the, the lines that are added uh, to trial uh, over the air updating as that include that library and the two extra lines and then the line in the loop there. Now the device will ask you for a password so that in my example is ESP8266 when you try and do an over the air update and then the updating proceeds. So what I've uploaded is a basic sketch of blinking the LED once per second. And there is the the board blinking once per second as expected. So as a further example I'll now modify the time to half a second upload. The blinking on the board stops while the over the air update is taking place. and there you see it running at the faster rate now. And then one final update, I'll make that 0.1 of a second. Upload. The blinking stops while the over the air update takes place. It rejoins the network. Signs on to the network and there it is blinking at 0 0.1 of a second. So there you are folks, that's how you do over the air updating on the ESP8266.